What's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again, so we got some breaking news right now, regarding Zilly, Big Bang, I bang you, Zhang, and Joseph, good day, mate, wanna buy a kangaroo, Parker, so, here's the news that no one's seen before, it's leaked, 100%, Frank Warren has indicated that Joseph Parker, versus Zilly, Big Bang, I bang you, Zhang, rematch will have to happen next, as Zhang has a rematch clause and intends on enforcing it. Now I believe Parker beat Zhang, I think it was a close fight, should have been probably a draw, but whatever. Parker beat Zhang in what was it, March? Rematch clause is usually a year. I'm surprised though, I, mean, I guess the thing is, Turkey, he has the leverage. Because usually, they don't let you fight. Usually, unless, I guess, maybe Parker agreed to it. Parker must have agreed to allow Zhang to fight Wilder. Which, again, listen. Turkey got them corners playing like that. If Turkey wanted it, it happened. So Turkey would have told Parker, just like he told Usyk, to drop the belt. Turkey told Parker, hey man, sit down. I'm fixing to make Wilder versus Zhang. And the rematch clause is still valid. Anywho, here we are. This fight makes the most sense. What I will say is though, at one point in time, Parker was calling out, he called out Dillian White, and he called out AJ. So, we know Dillian White's looking to get back in the mix, but Joe Parker, I don't know actually. I guess it depends what Turkey's willing to pay, because Turkey isn't the normal market. Why do I say that? Parker versus Dillian White is still probably, in normal terms, in normal market terms, a bigger commercial fight than Parker versus Zhang. But Tur I wouldn't have thought Turkey would pay as much Turkey's a boxing purist. He's not going to pay Dillian White. Let's say, let's say he was going to pay Zhang two mil. He's not going to pay Dillian White four mil. Dillian who? I don't even know. What was the last decent fight Dillian White had? We don't know. Dillian needs to prove so. Dillian needs to fight Joe Joyce. Or God forbid rematch Chisora. That's what he needs to do. Or Dillian White need to fight Bacoli. Is actually what he needs to do. Yeah, or Dillian might need to fight Jerome Miller. That's the way the lane he's in. Parker's beat Zhang, beat Wilder. He's transcended the whole Jerome Miller, Joe Joyce sweepstakes. So forget about Dillian White. Even though, in normal terms, it might be a, a bigger commercial fight, Parker versus Zhang is the one. Now, I, my, my mind tells me, oh, I don't know if Parker's going to want that. But then again, Parker went in there with Wilder and went in there with Zhang. So why wouldn't he want it again? And... Parker's shown the doubters. He's proved them wrong twice to some extent. Why not do it a third time? And that would be massive. If Parker, I'm telling you now, people. And I'm someone who thinks Zhang probably won the first fight because I'm biased to knockdowns. But I'll tell you this for three people. If Zhang has a close fight with Parker again, for me, Parker only needs to win five rounds in this fight to win. If Zhang has a close fight with Parker again, get Zhang out of here. I ain't trying to see him having a close fight again with Parker. It should be easy work for Zhang, right? So if Zhang's in there in the mix and he's losing five rounds, he lost. That's how I feel about Zhang right now. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear Parker winning five rounds. That's what I don't want to hear. I'm damn sure not six rounds. If Parker wins six rounds with no knockdowns, he won the fight. Yeah. That's what we're doing from now on with Zhang. Because Zhang, he'd be hot and cold. He'd blown hot and cold. Even in the Wilder fight, he got the knockout. But after the first few rounds, he was looking like lustre. He runs out of gas or... I don't know what it was. He kind of fell into a rhythm and he will not doing nothing. And it, I ain't gonna lie, the Wilder knockout was a bit of an unforced error by Wilder. Because Wilder can't box, because Wilder has no boxing IQ, it felt more like one of them ones rather than an out-and-out KO. Wilder been doing all that moody spinning training and got... It ended up his lower eye boxing IQ, aka his basketball IQ. It ended up Deontay Wilder's basketball IQ costed him that fight. Not so much Zilly Zhang. So that fight, the way it was looking until that happened, until that unforced error happened, it was looking like Zhang might go the distance with Wilder. It was a crap. So there's a chance. Zhang said for the Parker fight, oh, I didn't train. But we always hear that from Zhang. Yeah, all the Zhang heads were telling me in the Hergovic fight, oh, he was sick, he had this. Every fight with Zhang, he either punches up Joe Joyce, and everything's great, I didn't hear nothing, or he goes life and death with Hergovic, life and death with Parker, and oh, he had this, he had that. It's always some sort of excuse from the homosexuals. 
Yeah, from the Zile Zang homosexuals, there's always some excuse, like most fan groups. I had some goofball in the AJ fan group. I had some Anthony Johnston homosexual telling me, oh, I be Ruiz, the Ruiz one fight, he was concussed. And come on, bro, there's always something with you, man. Always something to excuse why you get popped by a man who can't punch a lick. Yeah, and he weren't people, he weren't so concussed when he put Andy Ruiz down. That's what he wasn't, right? All you Anthony Johnston homosexuals, you weren't saying he was concussed when he got knocked down. You were saying, free time, 40 time. That's what he was doing. But stop playing like that. He wasn't concussed enough not to not do down. He's got a solid chin. It's the only time he's been down in his career. Yes, Andy Ruiz can't punch, but a solid chin he does have. So AJ was so sick he could knock a dude with a granite chin down, but then he got sick. No. Come on. So, I'm tired of hearing excuses from Zhang. But this is the fight to make people. Some people are saying, Bacoli versus Zhang. No, you lost to Parker, man. If Parker wants it, even if... I think this is the fight to make, ultimately. There's un, for me, Parker and Zili Zhang is unfinished business. What I can't understand, though, why didn't they put... Zhang and Parker really should have been on the... No, I guess Zhang just fought in June, didn't he? But it was an easy fight. I think Turkey should have... That, that card, that AJ Dubois card is weak. And I've been saying that. It's really weak. The, the, the second in command fight is Boazzi versus Hutchinson. That's not a co-main. Turkey should have really... After seeing how easy the Zhang Wilder fight is, Turkey should have put on Zhang Parker on there. Because what's Parker been doing? Parker beat Zhang in... March, he's been out for six months until September. So Zhang would have had the whole of June, the whole of July, the whole of August, and most of September. So he'd have had four months. He could have taken a month off and then back into camp, 10 weeks. And he already had momentum from two back-to-back -back camps. So Zhang's going from not being very fit most of the time to having the Parker fight, the Wilder fight, and then an AJ fight, fighting every quarter, basically. That's what he should have done. Because Zhang isn't a man who's good with taking time off, apparently. He's lazy. He's a big old lazy bull. So he'd like to sit around eating and just grazing. You know them big ones there? Them big cats, big cats like Zhang, yeah, they're grazers. They'll just be there eating all day. Because they'd be grazing like a big horse. What do you think big horses do, people? What do you think big silverback gorillas do? They graze. All day they'd be doing it. So Zhang can't really have no time off. And he didn't take much damage, so he should have been... Parker versus Zhang should have been on for September, I believe. Anyway, it's not the case. Maybe, hopefully, they'll push it through. Because Bivol Baterbiev, that would be a good one on the undercard of that. Bivol Baterbiev undercard, Parker versus Zhang. Um, I guess the Fury Usyk card, that could be a heavyweight bonanza, maybe on there. It's a bit late, though. Then again, nothing else is going on. We know the belts are tied up until September slash December. Anyway... This is the fight to make up, decided. Bacoli, he need to eat. Bacoli should really smoke Joe Joyce or Dillian White. Yeah, the Zhang fight I said a while ago, it's just too early, man. I don't think there's a rush now. Bacoli still has question marks, people. Bacoli couldn't stop Yoka. Bacoli hasn't stopped everyone he's fought. So he's, people are, like, often we do, we jump on the back. No, no. We jump on the bandwagon and just start shilling, but there are questions about Bacoli for me still. I want to see him go in there. Yeah, Anderson was a great start, but why not start out Dillian White? Why not start out Joe Joyce, have a go on Joe? Let man have some beef anyway. Put Joe on a little bit. Um, so yeah, I want to see this fight, ultimately. I want to see Cam Parker... If Parker beats Zhang, I'm a bit of a Parker hater. Not a hater, I, like, I really respect Joe coming back how he has. I think it's probably the fact he can't punch. I think that's what gets me. He can't punch a lick. That's the problem I've got with Joe Parker. His boxing skills are there, but he just can't. He's missing the X factor. Yeah, he's missing that. That's what I don't... That's what's missing for me. Right? He, he's missing that. He ain't got it. So, it doesn't make me a hater, but I, I, I'm not really attracted to him. That said, if Parker beats Zhang again, like I said, if Parker can win six rounds against Zhang, he won the fight. And at that point, yes, I might, yes, he might not turn me on a whole bunch, but you have to respect him. And that sets up for a fight like Parker versus Caballel. In fact, even Bacoli versus Caballel. Wow, that's a burnt barn burner. I'm not sure what happened to Caballel. 
Caballero, he fought in March. He ain't really been put on. I don't wonder why the desert did. He hasn't put his man on Caballero yet. He needs to eat. Uh, who would he eat, though? If Parker don't have Zhang, they should feed... I think I'd back Caballero to smoke Parker, if I'm honest. I think Parker can't punch. I hate desert. I'm always going to back the puncher. It's something that's inherent to me. I think Caballero will go in there and just touch him too much. That's what I think will happen. Caballero's got the boxing skills and the cardio that Zhang hasn't as well. Sorry, Zhang's got the skills, but he ain't got the cardio. You can have all the skills in the world, people. If you ain't got no gas tank, it's good for nothing. That's what we know for a fact. So Zhang and his big ass need to stop grazing all day and stay ready. And stay sharp and stay on it. In that Wilder fight, he had about two, three rounds and he fell off and did nothing. It was frustrating to watch. He just kind of completely shit himself. It's quite really weird to watch. Anyway, people, let me know your thoughts. Parker versus Zhang. Is that the fight to make, or can you see another way of splitting things? I don't want to see Parker versus White. I just don't. Because neither of them man can punch like that, really. Let's call it a spare spade. Parker versus Bacoli? Not really. I would watch it. But no, listen. Let Bacoli eat Dillian White. Let Bacoli take out... We could do it in the Congo as well. Do it in JA. Yeah. Bacoli versus Dillian White in JA or in the Congo. Then was there? Two big necks in there. Old school. Yeah. Col colonial. Let's get a colonial show going on. A colonial circus show. Martin Bacoli versus Dillian White. Two big old necks in there. You know people, you, you 100%. You know people will be turning out for that one. You know all the old school heads, you people. You know Barry Hearn going to be there for that one, right? Barry Hearn will be in the crowd reminiscing about the old times. <laughs> He'll be talking about 1865 when he, when he used to do it for real. <laughs> With the Mandingos. Anyway, people, let me know if you want to smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, 100%. I'll do that, but stop it.